What's up, YouTube? This is Barnon11970. Thank you for watching this video. And I got a couple of more thoughts on the topic that I talked about yesterday. I don't believe this is a coincidence. Um, if you notice the article, and there were other articles, so that's not the only one. So I did check on this. And obviously, I don't live in Utah, so I'm not there to confirm it. So if anybody watching this lives in that state, give us an update. Um, if you notice the article, it says that this event didn't just happen yesterday. It happened on the 10th of April. Now, what else happened on the 10th of April? Well, coincidentally enough, was the crash of Bitcoins. After that, all of a sudden, you see a crash in the silver and gold. Now, just imagine if you're the evil banksters and the evil government and you're thinking like them. Well, if they can get people to lose confidence in investing and maybe start selling some of their precious metals out of fear, because what they just saw with Bitcoin, they suppress that news about that mine. Now, when I said the silver mine, the second largest silver mine, you have to understand in the titles, you can only write so much before it doesn't allow you to do it. So I said in the video that it was the second largest silver mine in the United States. But there's only so much room you could write on the title. So I apologize for that. But, you know, if I had unlimited space, I could have continued it. But I did say it in the video. All of a sudden, the news comes out. Well, at least that we could find. Now, who's to say on Monday, all of a sudden, the mainstream media talks about this? Because people have to understand something. In the United States, there is a law that they passed in 1986, which created the Silver, the Silver Eagle program, is for the Silver Eagles to be created, by law, it has to be done with United States of America Corporation Silver. They can't go to Mexico. They can't go to Peru. They can't go to any other country to get the silver. The law says that it has to be silver that was pulled out of the United States of America Corporation ground. So the second largest silver mine in the United States has basically been buried with sand. So the, the person that said that it exposed it all, no, they were digging in the ground and all of a sudden there was a landslide and it covered it all up. So that's not exposing the material, that's burying the material. But if you think from an enemy standpoint, well, they just, first what they did in uh, Cyprus, getting people to be weary of banks, thinking about money. When you talk about North Korea, gets people very scared, not sure what to believe in as far as what's going to happen in the world. Then this community starts investing in a Bitcoin that's supposed to be untouchable, it's going to save the world. It gets hammered to the point where most of the people that were bragging about Bitcoins all of a sudden disappear and they're selling. And if you don't think they are, go look at eBay. Then you see silver and gold plummet. And of course they do it on a Friday because if you're a trader and you have paper markets, you know, if you have SLD and GLD, well, can't really do anything because the market's closed. I keep telling people to stay away from paper, but people love to be doing whatever they want, which is perfectly fine. But I'm, like I said, I'm here to try and give good advice to save you what little money you may have or even if you have a lot of money, to keep them from taking it so they have a lot more money. But then all of a sudden, this news starts coming out slowly about a silver mine that has copper and gold. All of a sudden, we're getting a little less amount than we thought we would. Hmm. Could be coincidence. Could have been all done to justify prices all of a sudden going up. Now, if all of a sudden, now this may not happen instantly. I don't know. I don't know how many television media programs around the world have even talked about this yet. But if all of a sudden you start seeing it on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday or something, and they really start pounding this up, they're about to create a frenzy. So I guess we'll wait and see. But I don't think this was done coincidentally, which means one of two things. They, they caused that landslide, or they used it to their advantage and then 
created the very same day the crash of bitcoins and then two days later the crash of gold and silver so it's probably one or the other I think it might be the latter where the landslide was a was just a natural thing but they all of a sudden created all these other diversions because they love to do that you know look over here but meanwhile they're using this hand to steal out of your wallet or prepare for something that's what they do with black flag events and look what's about to happen so you can do whatever you want with this all I'm here to do is give information I am I live in New York I'm not about to fly to Utah I'll go to the uh, the place in question and start interviewing people I don't have the finances to do it even if I wanted to so I'm relaying information people can believe in it please people cannot believe in it people can read into it people can make up their own decisions I'm just here to point out what I've been told and what I've seen what you do with it is totally up to you so if you want to be angry at somebody or you want to say somebody's crazy or whatever you know go to the people that are working in government working in banks because if they were doing the right thing people like me and others that talk about that stuff would have other things to do so keep that in mind alright guys you do what you want I last night went and got a little bit more silver not much but you know what you get what you can afford and I'll tell you this much I took a bunch of potentially or soon to be worthless fiat paper turned it into storage of real wealth thanks for watching peace 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 and too many pieces Reese's pieces